The tale of the Rain Maiden and the Fire Queen, once lush with greenery and teeming with life. The rivers flowed freely, the crops grew tall, and the people lived in harmony with the land. All of this was possible because of the Rain Maiden, a mystical being who blessed the valley with gentle showers and nourishing rain. The Rain Maiden watched over the valley from her hidden sanctuary deep within the mountains, ensuring that life flourished. But far from this peaceful valley in the heart of a smoldering volcano, there lived another powerful being, the Fire Queen. Her name was Ignara, and she was as fierce as she was beautiful. Ignara had the power to control fire, and wherever she flew, her flames consumed everything in their path. The air would grow hot, the earth would crack, and the rivers would dry up. For years, she had been content to rule over her fiery domain, but as her power grew, so did her ambition. Ignara longed to expand her reign to make the entire world bow to her flames. She knew that the Rain Maiden was the only one who could stand in her way, so she devised a plan to bring endless drought to the valley, driving out the Rain Maiden's influence once and for all. The Fire Queen's Assault One scorching summer, Ignara set her plan into motion. She flew from her volcano, her fiery wings trailing embers and smoke across the sky, she descended upon the valley with all her might, setting forests ablaze and turning fertile fields into barren wastelands. The rivers shriveled under her scorching breath, and the wells ran dry. The villagers cried out in despair as the land that once provided for them was reduced to ashes. The Rain Maiden could feel the land's suffering, but she was powerless to bring rain while Ignara's flames dominated the skies. Hidden in her mountain sanctuary, the Rain Maiden tried to summon her power, but every drop of rain she called forth evaporated before it could touch the ground. The valley grew drier with each passing day, and soon the people began to lose hope. But among them was a young woman named Alara, known for her courage and unyielding spirit. Alara refused to watch her home be destroyed. She knew of the legends of the Rain Maiden and believed that if she could reach the Rain Maiden's sanctuary, they might find a way to stop the Fire Queen together. Alara's Journey With determination in her heart, Alara set out on a dangerous journey through the burning wilderness. She braved the scorching heat and navigated the charred landscape, guided only by the faint whispers of the wind that led her toward the mountains. Along the way, she encountered the Fire Queen's fiery minions, living flames that sought to block her path. But Alara was clever and resourceful. She used her knowledge of the land to outwit them, finding shelter in hidden caves and tricking the flames into traps of their own making. Finally, after many days and nights, Alara reached the entrance of the Rain Maiden's sanctuary. The air inside was cool and refreshing, a stark contrast to the burning world outside. At the heart of the sanctuary, she found the Rain Maiden, her luminous form dimmed by the encroaching drought. Rain Maiden, Alara pleaded, our land is dying. The Fire Queen's flames are consuming everything. We need your help to bring back the rain. The Rain Maiden gazed at Alara with sad, weary eyes. I have tried, but Ignara's power is too strong. My reign cannot quench her flames while she reigns unchecked. Alara, undeterred, said, Then we must face her together. You bring the rain, and I will protect you from her fire. Together we can stop her. Touched by Alara's bravery, the rain maiden agreed. With a renewed sense of purpose, she rose from her sanctuary, her form glowing brighter as she summoned the last of her strength. Alara stood beside her, ready to confront the Fire Queen. The Battle of Elements As the Rain Maiden and Alara emerged from the sanctuary, they found Ignara waiting for them in the sky, her flames burning hotter than ever. So the Rain Maiden finally shows herself, Ignara sneered. But it's too late. The land is mine, and soon, nothing will remain but ashes. Not if we have anything to say about it, Alara shouted defiantly. The Rain Maiden began to call forth the rain, summoning storm clouds that darkened the sky. But Ignara would not be defeated so easily. She unleashed a torrent of fire, trying to burn away the clouds before they could gather strength. 
Alara, determined to protect the Rain Maiden, called upon every ounce of her courage. She found an ancient shield buried in the mountains that was said to be forged by the gods, a shield that could reflect any attack. With the shield in hand, Alara flew into the sky, intercepting Ignara's flames and reflecting them back. The fiery onslaught was intense, but Alara held her ground. As she defended the Rain Maiden, the first drops of rain began to fall, sizzling against the flames but surviving long enough to reach the earth. The battle raged on, the sky filled with fire and water, light and darkness. The Rain Maiden's power grew as more rain began to fall and the land slowly started to cool. Ignara, seeing her power wane, grew desperate. She unleashed a final massive wave of fire aiming to destroy everything in one last all-consuming blaze. But Alara was ready. With the divine shield, she deflected Ignara's flames back at her. The Fire Queen, overwhelmed by her own power, was struck down. The rain fell in torrents now, extinguishing the last of Ignara's flames and washing away the ashes from the land. A new beginning. With Ignara defeated, the Rain Maiden's power was fully restored. The valley, once parched and lifeless, began to bloom again. Rivers flowed, crops sprouted, and the villagers returned to their homes, their spirits lifted by the sight of the renewed land. The Rain Maiden, grateful for Alara's bravery, granted her a gift, the ability to call upon the rain whenever it was needed. Alara became the new guardian of the valley, ensuring that it would never again fall victim to drought or fire. As for Ignara, her fiery spirit was not destroyed, but transformed. The Rain Maiden used her power to turn Ignara into a gentle flame that would burn only in the hearths of the villagers, providing warmth but never destruction. Thus, balance was restored and the valley thrived under the watchful eye of Alara, the Rain Maiden, and the transformed Fire Queen. And so, the land flourished, protected by the harmony of fire and rain, forever guided by the bravery of those who dared to stand against the flames. The End Please subscribe to this handsome man.